Hey everybody, uh, you are tuned in to the Free Mat Podcast. Generally speaking, usually a libertarian roundtable type discussion, going over articles about libertarian issues. As of lately, I'm kind of bypassing that one. My usual cohort, the, the, the beloved General Patrick Flynn, uh, handling affairs. He's halfway around the... Uh, globe not too far from where i live i wanted to tell you guys um this was more of a rant and not a libertarian type uh issue but i know that i've said more than once that technology and certain cultural effects in our world have actually caused us to be more distant and to be not shallow but to be losing a part of our humanity that made us us and something had concerned me and i wanted you guys to think about this and i wish companies did too i understand that uh we're not out of the woods with a covid19 coronavirus stuff I know it's still a big issue around the world, but I I speak as a as you know a, a local person. Um, the title of this video was going to be eh, still let it be, but the plexiglass pointless stupidity. I go to stores. I go to um. There's one store I don't like going to it because they're companies woke but they're horrifically bad with the plexiglass dividers and which are not being used anyway they don't have anybody running them most of the time but i i understand um in a weird way there's i guess it keeps people from wanting to jump over the counter too but i don't i'm not a big fan of these plexiglass dividers I, I think it's actually, it's one thing that we're distant because of the ability to, you know, one stop, one, st- one step, one button shopping and having people deliver and we're losing human interaction altogether. But the one time you go for human interaction and they put a, they put a person behind a piece of plastic like you're at a zoo and I know no other people don't don't want to think of it that way but the one time one time you have might have an interaction in in your day with a, another human being you're putting behind a plexiglass enclosure like they're an animal and i, I don't like the idea uh, of an art exhibit with people as animals i don't like the idea uh, obviously i i understand uh, we have to imprison criminals to a point, but I don't like to do it. And you pay money to do, to have these people stand behind a plexiglass enclosure like they're animals. I think it's going to make us more callous and look at people, strangers. Uh, it's going to help dehumanize strangers even more. And it's one thing that, you know, the whole mass thing has driven a wedge against people. It's, we're we're enabling we're enabling Karens and uh, Karens, Kins, and Todds. We're causing people to not be. I don't want to say human, but we're dehumanizing people. I love people. I really do. I struggle with uh, anxiety. I struggle with uh, human interaction. I'm often at a loss for words. I'm very. I try to be very deliberate with my words. It's just, over time, it, it's just been that tough. And I can't imagine, but I can't imagine making people less human. And if I ever could encourage these companies, I know there's a point where this stuff, I'm, I'm not saying it's not serious, this, this virus, but we can't let something like this, we have to be, we have to be mindful and actually say other people are out there, strangers or human beings. 
and it's sad because we used to do that. I used to have interactions with people whose names I couldn't remember because I'm really bad at remembering things. But in the pie of life, their little slice always meant something to me. And even people I didn't like over time, even though their pot pie, their pie pieces are minuscule compared to people I've had in my life for a longer time. But I care immensely about strangers. I, I want them to be well. I don't want them to have debilitating diseases. I don't want them to have mental issues. I, I want them to, it's not that I want them to be like this overwhelming happy. I want them to just be content and to exist and to have a sense of purpose. And I, I want people to, uh, to like their work, to their toil, to have purpose. And a lot of us don't. And I think this kind of stuff doesn't help. And if I could just encourage you, uh, call these companies, send emails and say, please, when you can get rid of these plexiglass enclosures, we're, we're not animals. We're not Harambe. I, I just wish folks knew that I, it drives me nuts. And I, I really care about these people. I, I know it sounds sad. I, I, my little interactions with these people, I, I try to be funny. I try to make their lives a little bit better because Lord knows everybody thinks they're just some disposable, you know, jerks and they're not, they're people, they're people like you and me. They could be your lovers. They could be friends. They could be family. They could be, um, they could be confidants. They could be, uh, uh, yeah, they, they could be us just they're people too. And I, anyway, folks, I'll, I'll cut her off there. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for listening.